This mechanical device is a fully 3D printed Nintendo Switch cartridge Rolodex. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build it. Let's go. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. So this video is going to be a little bit different format. Typically, I put my time lapse in the very beginning. I'm going to actually switch that up and put it towards the end. So if you want the time lapse, watch the whole thing. If you don't, you can stop after the build. So starting off, you're going to take the main drum with the spokes on it, and you're going to put the cartridge holders on first. You're going to see two edges. There's going to be one with the where the, slide, the game slides in, and then the other one has a thicker edge. The thicker edge, the left side, that's going to go on the spoke first. So go around, place all 12 holders on the spokes, and then we'll move to the next part. While building this, I actually thought it would be kind of cool to print every other one in black TPU, kind of to dampen the sound. If you don't like the clicking sound or you're worried about gripping the cartridges so they don't fall out, a TPU would probably work very nice. If you want to see that, let me know, and I'll try to make one with black TPU. The next piece you're going to put on is the cap to this drum. You're going to see this part right here. It has a little bit thicker or longer slat, that's going to line up perfectly for that. So just make sure all the spokes are in their aligned holes and then you're just going to press it down it's going to click in and this is held in all by friction. So you could glue it if you need to, but it does not require glue. Next up you're going to get three screws and the Rolodex stand. So there's only one way these spokes can go in and that's the way I'm showing you right now and then they screw in individually. These screws have a pretty big hex uh, key on them. Uh, so make sure you have that available to use. I get mine started by hand, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a star key that fix this, fits this hex head. And then just tighten it by hand. Don't over tighten it. You don't wanna strip these 3D printed threads or anything like that. You could use glue for this as well. I didn't, this was good enough, but if you wanted to, you can glue it. All right, up next, you're gonna take the middle bit and the knob. So this is the outside face of the knob and you're gonna take that middle spoke and just put it through the center right there. It is a bit of a tight fit. It is friction fitted. So just press it in as far as it goes until you hear a click. And then you're gonna take that hurricane symbol and that's gonna make the clicking sound on the outside. There's a bit of a saw shape and that's gonna make the clicking sound. So take the main Rolodex, put the main spoke through the center of the entire uh, object. It takes me a little bit of time here, but just keep moving it until you, you eventually get it. Okay, I had to look and see where the middle part was facing, and then once I get that, it's nice and easy. It should fit through the whole thing, and then there you go. It works just perfectly. So we're almost done. You're going to hold this in place with a washer that you printed as well, and there's going to be a little pin. With the pin, there's a straight edge, and then there's an edge with a bump. The edge with the bump goes on the outside, okay? And this, again, just is friction fit, and so you're just going to place it in, bump on the outside, and you're going to wait until you hear a click, and then you should be good to go. Next, you're going to take the last screw and the little arm that goes up top, and you're just going to put this in place. And you can put this anywhere you want. Uh, from what I see, it doesn't really look necessary unless you're flipping through the rolls that's really fast. You can see I'm going to have to adjust this a few times because as you tighten it, it will go up. So just make sure you're holding that arm down. It's going to go a little bit farther down than what you would think. Um, but once you do that, it's going to hold back the games nicely as you can see right there. I think I end up going a little bit further than that and then tightening it. Yeah, that's perfect right there. So now we're gonna put some Nintendo Switch games in it and I'm gonna show you how it works. They fit perfectly in it. They don't fall out flipping through. I haven't had one fall out yet. I will in the future. I think I want to maybe print every other one in TPU or every single one in TPU because TPU is a rubber and it will be like a softer kind of impact. You won't have that clicking sound or anything like that. Unless you want it, maybe that'd be perfect. But yeah, I might try TPU. 
So this Rolodex will hold 12 games. It doesn't take up that much space and it's actually not that bad of an idea for those that want to save space just to kind of flip through your catalog of games. So there you have it, a Nintendo Switch cartridge Rolodex. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and consider subscribing. I just recently broke a thousand, and I can't thank you guys enough for helping me get there if you're already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, consider it, please. Up next, I'll have the time lapse for my Bamboo Labs XNC, so if you want to stick around for that, I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for making it this far, and everyone, have a good day. Hey, if you're sticking around to watch this time lapse, I really appreciate it. It's going to help me out with the watch hours. You're the real MVP, and thanks for supporting my channel and me. Like the video, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.